All right. So this should work. Um, I want to do a real quick update. I updated the primer. I don't know if I already posted this, but specific matchup tips with sideboard recommendations. So you can just click on that, and then you can just click on whatever deck, and it'll give a rundown on our game plan against that deck and typical sideboard ideas and what we can expect in the sideboard. So, uh, like Infect, Dredge, and uh, you know, just going through them, and I'll add them as I keep going. So that's the big update to the primer. Let's see, go all the way to the top again. There we go. So again, just click on specific matchup tips. Um, I've also started working on something that I've been putting off for a long time, and that's uh, this spreadsheet here. I'll try to make sure I link it to the opening hand data. So what I did is I started going through all of my videos, there's like 400 some odd now, and getting the opening hand on whether or not I know if, what the opponent's on, what they're on, uh, if I'm on the draw, if I won or lost, and then all the cards in the hand. And not just that, like cards in hand, but for some reason the scroll bar is not in here. But like uh, how many lands are in the opal, not counting uh, in the opener, not counting opal, counting opal, and how many cards are in the opener. So like if I had a mulligan at all. And uh, some of these cards, like, you know, we never use anymore. Like, I, long ago, before I could afford spell skites, I had, I was running Wall of Tangle Cord. So, it's in the data. It's probably not important, but it's a card. And I included cards that other people ran that I do not. Like, I don't have Ethergrids. I don't run it. I don't run Crucible. And so on. So, uh, that way, what it does is, uh, it makes it so that people can look at data. For example, they want to see, you know, uh, how many? Okay, where's Lantern? There we go. So like, let's see how uh, you want to filter it. So, was uh, the average win loss? If a lantern is in the opener, you can just take all the wins, count them up, divide it by the total number of games with the lantern, and that'll give you a win percentage if you keep a hand with a lantern in the opener. And what that'll do is make it so that people can. To see like what's a, a typical good hand. Uh, fortunately, a Crixalvo over in the forums has offered to make a web interface so that people can uh, specify specific like uh, parameters, uh, and that way it'll basically give you an, a uh, like a percentage of like or not a percentage, but an example of what the perfect opener is, like what kind of opener we would want to see that would give us the highest chance of winning, you know, whatever game. Game one, game two, whatever. So, uh, somebody here is already checking it out, Anonymous Hyena. There have been other people looking at it too, but uh, I'm not done entering all the information. Um, it'll, it's going to take me a long time, but I'll get there eventually. I do have like some notes. For example, this person right here, they were running Summoning Trap, so that's why in the data here you're going to see that I, in game two, the known in game two, I sided in um, uh, Grafdigger's Cage. So yeah, uh, hopefully uh, everybody will find that useful. I posted a, a uh, link to it in the subreddit, the Lantern Control subreddit, and uh, yeah, it'll be it'll help you out. Uh, I tried. I made this tab, and I tried making it so you can see the parameters, but unfortunately, it counts everything. So. I can't only like select, you know, games that I won in the average uh, number of lands in my hand, not counting Opal. I actually put that right here. The algorithms aren't correct. I don't know how to correct them, but uh, I'm trying to figure it out. Once I do, I'll be updating this. So again, hopefully people will find this interesting. I do need to update the game data and total meta analysis, but I've been putting so much work into the opening hand data. Uh, I think people will get more information out of that. And you can get game data off of the open hand data by looking at the win-loss ratios <clears throat> right here, the win-loss. And total meta, uh, total meta analysis, I just get those numbers straight off of MTG Goldfish. Uh, I tweeted at Saffron Olive and MTG Goldfish to ask them if there's some way that I can just like scrape the data straight off their website and have it automatically enter this, but I haven't gotten a word back. Uh, or if somebody knows how to do that, uh, please, you know, let me know, and uh, yeah, I'm sure it'll help us out. 
Same thing if you know how to make these equations correct, then uh, I'd appreciate it. All right. Um, oh, in my current list, uh, I've recently put four ley lines back in the side um, because uh, burn is on the uptick, unfortunately, as is jund. So that means ley lines are going to be important. And it shows that ley lines are important if you look at MTG Goldfish. A recent list that have placed well in dailies, they're running ley lines in the side. Uh, a full place hit, if I remember correctly. <coughs> So hopefully, you know, uh, this is informative and helps you all out. And uh, I'm always open to suggestions and critiques and whatnot. So uh, thanks for watching.